watch, watch. This is LP. Now, this is the first video, 2023. Won't go any further. Wanna wish everybody Happy New Year. Right. Hope you have a healthy year. Right. Bless up my family, friends. Remember, don't take any day for granted. Because the next one isn't promised. I want to speak about the PI and the Patreon squad. Even Vulture Squad will be sharp in your ear. Because even though they are grotesque, Vultures play an important role in the ecosystem. So we wish them an entire year of more scraps and more mediocrity. So, bless up on yourself. Happy to be back one more year. First day of the year. This is the year we're telling you it's going to kickstart things, in my opinion. This is the year when we're going to start to see some actual changes on the ground. But already, the challenges start. Because we just hear say, a done, or acting done, you like a principal, acting principal, and acting done have been killed. Done from a place called Homestead. Quote unquote, bad man place. Say no said spooky, I'm not telling about it. I can start off with a man by the name of Michael Marlin, aka Big Ed. Remember I did a video right, on the teacher them in the homestead. Right? They were doing a little protest against the principal. Quote unquote, Dan pull up. All journalists get hands put on them. Journalists get assaulted. Ugly scenes all over the place. The person who they put him on from the journalists. Is the same big head metal about now. Man them kill him. And based on the video where me look like I know him head then shot him. Cup rounds well too. Lay him out in the road. Look like a road kill. Right. Man them deal him with him. Right. Now, this could be a terrible start to the year. Depending on where the hit come from. Right. You see, by now you should know, but if you don't, I'll tell you. Big Ed is the brother of them called Fella. Fella has been around a very long time, but you know it got ready, right? Take himself so he's no longer on the ground. Right? So Big Ed, right? And him other brother had also died recently, right? But the people them were badly see, but are still Fella, right? A quote unquote call the shot. The official story and right? argument start over phone. Say so under the right phone, this under the right, this and all kind of man pop off, shoot him and kill him. To be honest, that sound like Cory Unicorn to me. Look at them season up the Unicorn. Right? Cory done well good because Big Ed is not the type of person they just casually kill over phone. So. Anybody I go meet, know who Big Ed is. Right? Community, he mouth ties to. I know, say, I know, say, go. Could just kill somebody like Big Ed. That is likely some kind of smoke screen for a bigger program with them run on him. Now, at the time of this recording, right, the story is fresh, so I don't know. Worse, a New Year's Day and everybody gone go party and you know, all them things there. So, the real intel will come in. When we get it, right, we'll update you if necessary. But, read this. If you are going to kill Big Ed, you have to be prepared. To fight a gang war. And that means say, you must have your own gang and back it in. This phone argument and, and, and they ride phone waiting and then kill. Especially all them kill him. They don't know the road. That does not sound like and that's all there is to it. Remember, Clarendon is the same place where Kili Kili did, who is also a Spanish stone yeti seven. So when I start to see a Clarendon and Spanish stone yeti seven. You see but tell enough time, seven time on the sea, a parish, right, gets spooky. And crime just turn up certain way. When you check the man, they might do it. When you say enough of the man, them come from more traditional, quote unquote, bad man place. And them take with themselves, right, to other places and start making it get hot. If the people who carry this out live anywhere within Spanish town, you know what got happened already. Because as you can imagine, things can get real spooky. Couple phone call make retaliation over here, so it might go retaliate again 
back and forth all kind of madness. So, that SOE will truly be tested right now. Homestead, as you can imagine, all the anxiety that people need to know where to come from. One minute, you know, you're, you're so big and powerful, pull up a principal school. But whatever the case may be, I said them things about. One minute you're high and mighty, you're big down, pull up, you know, put people in their place and all, lick down journalists and all kind of things. Next minute you don't pay your back. Right? Leaking out like a pipe. And me say, the man left him like a roadkill. Right? Think about bullets is in the business where you want to be. In the business where you are the Dan or you want donkey. Now, for the video end, I want to finish up something we mentioned right in a previous video. Where I was talking about Canada and them have a police commissioner who asked for certain changes right to them bail system. Me tell them say I will give you an update on another woke country right, who made a very interesting right, legislation right, or update a new piece of legislation. That country is Sweden. You see, they used to have something in Sweden called youth rebate. Right? That's the English translation. But basically, the law surrounds you know, young people not being charged for certain crimes. Right? And even when they get sentenced, it was very lean. I'm saying very lean, I mean like a year. Right? People were committing murder. Youths were committing murder, and I get like a year or two. The Swedish government has removed this law. Young people can now get charged right, for murders just like right, adults. Do you know why them change the law? Because gangs realize that, hold on. If you are telling me, say, young people can get one year, sometimes even no custodial sentence for murder, right, why would I have old people in the gang? So them start to see between the ages right, of about 14 to 18, right, that really young people start to be overrepresented in murder, as in committing the murder. Juvenile start to kill in crazy numbers because gangs start to recruit younger people. Think about this from a gang's perspective. If you're telling me that a young person Right, a teenager, let's say a 16 year old boy, can commit murder and get one year, sometimes no time in a jail. Even if you get catch, you can get catch, convicted, everything, and get one year, sometimes none. That right there, sir, is the best 87 I could ever get. Not only can I have my target killed, but I would get my 87 back from jail, even if he didn't get catch, because he might not get catch. But even if he get catch, I'll have him back in the gang less than a year. This law allowed Swedish gangs to recruit more young people to kill. You know how they recruited them? By pointing out the fact that the law can't do nothing to you. Are you telling me I can be 16 year old murder and do less than a year in jail? Pass the gun. Pass the gun now. You know the song is a pass the country on the left, pass the matic on the left. All of a sudden, Swedish young star get full of juvenile. Sweden, walk, walk, Sweden that once used to preach to the rest of the world. Now, their murder rate is not high by treating that are Ironman standards, but by their normal standards, the people them spooked. The people them will give an advice and say, no, 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 don't, don't bring in no harsher laws. You need to look at this program. Why are you not bringing on program? Why when time Canada right, police officer get killed? Why do I say we need to bring in more programs now? Them say no, bail reform. Them say we need bail reform because this man trimmed up on the road, bail reform. Don't you find that weird? Right? These countries love right? preach to Iron Man, preach to Bahamas, you know, preach to you know, the rest of the world, Middle East, Africa. Do this and do that. But then as the crisis reach them. Them start change up laws, them get rid of them youth rebate, their prize youth rebate. Sweden used to brag, say, oh, we don't we don't lock up our youths for an extended time. We believe in giving second charges because they're young. But then when time the bodies start, drop left, right, and center. Them say, no, 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 take with them, take with that, take with that, take with that. 
my jealous yago boy, I get charged like big man now. Speedy. Walk, walk, speedy. That's what you say. When time countries have to do what they must, right, to protect their own, them do it. Can anybody recall hearing the Swedish or the Canadians or the French or the Germans ask Ironman what their next move should be? The new law prevent judges from giving too lenient sentences. I'm not normally selling the cover, I'm not selling on today. See there? The new law, right? Make sure the judges can give lenient sentences to youths, young people. From a criminal perspective, it's a gold mine. You're telling me there's an entire group of people that can shut and kill and only go to jail for a couple of months? Maybe no time at all? Just because of them age? So I can kill my enemy? Without losing my eighty seven for a long period of time. And that eighty seven no say if him get catch, him now gonna jail. Sweden immediately revoke it. They didn't ask the Iron Man what them should do. They didn't consult with Umber. They didn't consult with Trinidad. They didn't consult with Barbados. They did what they had to do for them country. No matter how controversial maybe. Now Sweden said I'm going to lock up juvenile and give them big man sentence. Interesting. Anyway, as I say, people, hope you have a great new year. Live long and prosper. See? Patreon squad, you go for yourself. PIA, you don't know, more life. Vulture squad, stay circling. Bless.